People from all over the world ask me almost daily what the journal is looking for in a submission. I'm happy to share with you some of these highlights. First, avoid predators. There's a lot of great plastic surgery journals out there. Most of them are legitimate, but some are actually bad actors that aim to take advantage of authors. So use extreme discretion to avoid predator journals at all costs. So how do you spot a predatory journal? Well, simply put, it means that it's too good to be true. You just have to remember this. There are ways to spot a predator journal and check trustworthy databases like Scopus or the Directory of Open Access Journals to see if your journal is even listed in these legitimate indexes. Second, pick the right journal for your article type. While both of our journals seek high quality, well-written, impactful science, there are some clear differences. PRS prefers cutting edge, major advances with large patient population sources and long-term follow-up. PRS Global Open has a broader scope of content, allowing for more local and regional techniques and interesting case reports, in addition to systematic reviews, randomized controlled trials, and so much more. Global Open is truly a remarkable journal. It's open access to everyone in the world, and that is amazing. It has a moderate acceptance rate, and the articles can be published in as little as 35 business days after completion. That's very important for all of us. PRS has a very strict acceptance rate and has about a five to six month cube from acceptance to final publication. Third, learn what type of content and articles are selected for publication in our journals by following these simple three steps. Number one, read the journals. Read the current issue of PRS and PRS Global Open to get a glimpse into the type of content and studies that we're currently accepting. Number two, peer review. Put yourself in the reviewer's position or their shoes and that will help you become a better writer. Sign up to become a peer reviewer for both journals. Number three, read the instructions to the authors. Now that sounds very simple, but this criteria is so important. And actually, if you read the instructions to authors, it'll make your life so much easier and also ours as we do the peer review process. Just follow those guidelines. Fourth, identify the key elements for success. Articles published in both PRS and PRS Global Open have been rigidly peer reviewed. But that does not mean that every article we receive because of the volume we get is reviewed by a panel of your peers. I perform a cursory review of all manuscripts looking for these exact defined prerequisites. These are one of the several roadblocks that could delay peer review or even the result in a summary rejection. Things like figures or video quality was not adequate, adherence to word count, visual media and authorship limits, registration of clinical trials, and appropriate permissions and forms. These are all the things in the instructions to authors. These pitfalls, although they may sound small, are huge because we wanna make your article the best it can be and make you look good. I receive over 3,200 submissions a year and I wanna make sure that the articles meet these basic clerical and content criteria before I send it out to all of my great peer reviewers around the world. And finally, learn from rejection. I've had more articles rejected than probably anybody. So that means when you get an article that's rejected, remember what Yoda said, the greatest teacher failure is. So if your PRS article is rejected or Global Open article is rejected, don't throw it away, revise it, think about it, and actually listen to the peer reviewers. They're trying to make it better. The editorial process is a marathon, not a sprint. So don't give up. Thank you so much for your interest in our family of plastic and reconstructive surgery journals, which includes PRS and PRS Global Open. We look forward to receiving your submissions soon and often.